Good evening. What up? I'm back, just as I promised. How have you been? I've been chilling. I'm glad you remember me. In another week, the moon will be full again. The next ordeal will be upon you. Be careful. Until yeah, next definitely time. Definitely gonna try. Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we've learned. Wow, you're really into this. Of course I am. I got lots of good info. And it turns out there was no angry ghost involved. Oh, so that's what's important, huh? First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. The girl was found on the school grounds, so it does match the ghost story on that point. But why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? Correct. But yeah, I was surprised when I found out. After that first incident, the exact same thing happened to two other students. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people thought it was a ghost. Okay, moving on. The victims were all in different classes, and at first glance, they don't seem to be connected, but they did have one thing in common. Anyone know what it was? What is this, a quiz show? Do you know? What did all three victims have in common? Yep, that's right. Not just once or twice, either. They all got in with a bad crowd and were always out late. Considering they all ended up the same way, it can't just be a coincidence. So, to find out what happened, we're gonna do some field research. What? Field research? Yep, there's one place where all three victims were regulars. Whoa, hang on. You're not talking about that spot behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, you know about it? Dude, you can't go there. I've heard all kinds of nasty rumors about that place. Oh, really? Well, then all the more reason we should go together. You're coming with, right? Now we're talking. Oh, man. I don't know about this. That place is seriously bad news. Do we really have to go there? Up until now, all we've done is follow orders. Isn't it about time we start thinking for ourselves? I know what you mean, but... Man, you have to say it like that. I guess I don't have a choice, do I? Then it's settled. We'll go tomorrow night, so plan accordingly. That's the best you can give me? Some like HP stuff? You guys might be thrown off with like wondering why I'm going to uh, this like arcade uh, game parade thing. And it's because I'm boosting up the stats on Orpheus, Orpheus so that way he can stand a chance like regardless of like other stuff I'm using here I just want Orpheus to kind of stick with us and be strong as hell so uh, when you go to this game arcade here, or game parade, uh, it's always going to be like that second option for what you can increase. So in this case, I've been increasing like agility. So agility is good for increasing like your accuracy and your evasion. Um, I haven't seen anything for increasing endurance, uh, but hopefully that changes.
right, it's time. Let's get going. Shouldn't we talk about this some more? I still think this is a bad idea. How are you scared of ghosts, but totally fine with this? Because stuff you can't see is way creepier. Actually, I'm more worried about the things I can see. Like bats. And knives. <sighs> Big deal. So it's a little dangerous. Come on, let's strike while the iron's hot. Yeah. Let's go. Strike? You're actually excited about this? Just a little bit. Being a bit adventurous. Try gathering information at the outskirts of the station. Yeah. Oh, I actually got to run there? I can't just fast travel. All right. We're still wearing our school uniforms. They're from Gecko High. Oh man, this is even worse than I thought. You must have taken a wrong turn. This place ain't for you, buddy. Uh, well, uh, I. What I'm saying is, being here is ruining our vibe. Beat it, goatee. Goatee? Oh, <laughs> you mean me? We don't need your permission to be here. Of course. Hey, you can talk all that shit and get smacked. The room, won't you? I can read just fine. Come on. Don't be intimidated by these It'll punks. What did you just say? That punk she is just talking. called us punks. Come on. This is a chick. Let's post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. Oh, never mind. It's the one in the back. practicing your sexy poses. <laughs> oh boy, that's too good. These hoes need to shut up. These guys are scum. My bitch, be quiet back there. So now we're scum, huh? Man, I feel sorry for you, goatee. This bitch is a real pain in the ass, isn't she? Damn. Just gonna assault a child like that? <laughs> Oh wait, no. They were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. You good with that? Who do you think you are, dumbass? They're not walking out of this. You want some too? Let's go whoop his ass. Oh yeah, you don't fuck with people that just headbutt you like that. Just cross the line. You think you're going home alive now? Should we find out? Uh. No, well, maybe not. <laughs> oh man, you're a loser. Bastard. Your name's Aragaki, right? Yeah, now I remember. Shinjiro Aragaki. You're from Gecko High, too, aren't you? Damn it, you're gonna regret this. Is he? Is he, though? Oh man, Senpai! That was awesome! I remember you. You guys were in Aki's room at the hospital. You idiots. Go home. You don't belong here. Wait! Sorry, but there's something we need to know before we leave. Did Aki tell you to come here? <laughs> Hmm. Well, what do you want to know? Is this about that ghost story? Hell yeah. Fill the beans. Yes, that's right. How'd you know? The rumor's been going around. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night. Damn. They brag about all the stuff they did to some girl named Yamagishi. 
Yamagishi? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? You were picking on her? That's why people are saying it's Yamagishi's ghost that did it. Um, Yamagishi-san's ghost? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? This Yamagishi girl might be dead. I heard she hasn't been home in over a week. Wait, what? I thought she was just out recovering. So, you mean she's still missing? So much for that ghost story. Mr. Akota is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about this? I get it, Aki. Still trying to make up for the past. Hmm. It's you who can't let go. Huh? What? Nothing. Anyways, it's all I know. We done here? You can't just say that and then not give like more insight. Uh -huh. Come on, show some appreciation. I didn't do nothing. Thank you for helping us and for sharing what you know. That was really nice of you. Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. Just don't come here again. I'll come here tomorrow. Dude, I'm drenched in cold sweat, but man, what aragaki san told us was shocking, huh? Oh! I'll let Kitty just then probably know what we found out about Yamagishi san. The fact that she's missing is no small matter. Man, we're totally gonna get yelled at for doing that without permission. I can already see it happening. All right, it's full moon time. What up? I'm supposed to gather in front of the faculty office during lunch. What's this is about. Oh, dude, you serious? We're supposed to ask about Fukuyama Gishi, remember? But asking Mr. Ikoda for an explanation sounds like a total pain in the ass. This is so lame. I especially compared to when we went to that spot behind the station at night. I decided to just put the camera on. Film way better. Not looking as sick as I used to. Oh, oh shit. Kirijo Senpai. Why are you here? Same reason you are. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. Uh oh. No! Please, I I never thought it'd turn out this way. Fuka. Hey, I remember you. You was talking all that shit. What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Kiri Jokun. This isn't an interrogation. Stop scaring. Nah, that's exactly what this is. <laughs> you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. That she's a bully? Fuka, we already got that idea. She, she always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. That's when I realized she may be a model student, but deep down she's just like us. And because of that. I knew exactly which buttons to push. And now she's trying to push your buttons, huh? That day too. It was May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym. Damn, okay, that was like the door from the a outside. week ago. About a week ago. Hey. Wait, what? You trapped her inside? That night, Maki got worried Fuka might commit suicide, so... She went back to the school by herself. But and fucked around and found out. Back. That's and what it sounds time. like. She was found lying outside the front gate. I went to the gym to let Puka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us wouldn't come back. And then they all ended up like Maki. I thought it was only like three girls I that see. like ended up as victims. Mr. Okoda, all this time you've been reporting Yamagishi is absent due to illness. But the truth of the matter is that she was missing. You had to have known this. Explain yourself. Are you like the uncle to this girl? The students, of course. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. So you chose not to report a missing child for the good of the class, and not because you didn't want the police involved. Right, bitches. It, it was in her best interest. Was it I though? I want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agreed. 
So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. Oh, you better say it. Despicable. Let's go, Mitsuru. Despi no, I, I, I didn't mean. Uh, I, I was just uh... controversial, but you, you know, you, can go you bring now. a lot we'll of dishonor on your family. Wait, wait, but don't worry. This won't be the last you'll hear of this. <sighs> Yeah. But why do students have so much power in high school? Like, what the hell is up with these JRPGs? Anything at all? A voice, a creepy voice. They all mentioned it right before they went missing. They said they could hear it, calling their name. Oh man. Senpai, could it be? It's them. No doubt about it. Up until now, we've never been able to predict who exactly would become aware during the dark hour. This voice must be the key. In other words, it doesn't just happen randomly. We're just going to have this conversation in front of her, though? She doesn't know anything about the dark I hour. now, after seeing all of this, they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are most definitely the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. That should be the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave your room no matter what happens. If she's definitely going to tell us, that, right? Be fine. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be all right as well. Fuka. No, fuck you. <laughs> Yori, fuck you. you. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. Tonight? A night? Yes. We are going to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. Understood. All righty. Good. You're all here. Tonight, we're infiltrating the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, I don't get it. Are you saying Yamagishi is inside the school somewhere? And why are we doing this at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Well, that's the thing. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartar. Exactly. Wait, so she's a Persona you user. Mean Yamagishi has been over there ever since she got locked in the gym. And it changes every night. That's right. So she can't find her way out. That was ten days ago. No matter how you look at it, she's gotta be. Don't lose hope just yet. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So where does it go for the rest of the day? Nobody knows. That's a good point. This is just a theory. But I think time flows differently in Tartarus. So even though it's been 10 days for us, it could have only been 10 hours for her. That is true. She's still alive. Wow, you think so? But wait, isn't the dark hour pretty brutal though? Even for us, how could she last 10 days worth in there? 10 hours, come on, man. That is true. And even if she is still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Such pessimistic thinking. Are you just gonna abandon her then? I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That'll be the quickest way. Yeah, so we can end up at like the is same spot really or start work? from there. In all honesty, I can't say I fully agree with this. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. But... I'm not just gonna stand here and do nothing. There's, There's more of us. We can save her. And we understand I Tardis a little bit more than, uh, if than Puka. If you guys aren't with me, then I'm going in on my own. Senpai? Yeah, all right. oh, y'all acting like some wimps. But we also can't just leave her there. What is it, Loiter Squad? He was, right. uh, and Earl Sweatshirt. He was like, it smells like bitch in here. We're sneaking <laughs> into the school then. <laughs> in that case, I've got just the thing. You do? No answer. This is a problem. I can't get a hold of the chairman. Well, that's not a big deal, right? There is one issue. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. No need to worry. Aren't we like soon I council? Got we don't got like extra keys. All set. Unexplosive. All right. I'll let you handle this. 
Why does she assume explosive? There's no time to waste. Let's go. An actual explosive? Uh, no. Uh, all I did was unlock a door. <laughs> See? We got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is there really something to brag about here? So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. Oui, good job. We should find somewhere to get ourselves ready. Your classroom should work, right? Damn, how many languages do they know? Maybe like two or uh, three. What? Like the downside of being American is like you typically grow up just speaking one language. Is that French or something? Why are they talking in different languages anyway? Can we turn on the lights? No. Aww, People are gonna know we're here. No, I'm not. Stupe. Who? Hey, that's uncalled for. Yo, mama. Quiet. We need to get started. It's better for us if the lights are off. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't really like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. It should be in either the faculty office or the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. Akihiko and I will take the janitor's room. After that, we'll Why? the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? So, we're searching the faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some... I was like, how'd I know this dude's gonna try to get some answers or fix some grades? Something like maybe that. Maybe I should go to the faculty office, too. It sounds interesting. You're not planning to do something unethical under my supervision, are you? I suppose you'll need to be executed. Hey, come on! Obviously, I was joking! <laughs> she is cutthroat, you know? All I meant by interesting was that there's a higher chance of finding the key there. Enough with the excuses. Let's head to the janitor's room. Iori, you're coming with us. <laughs> All right, let's Damn. get this over with. He fucked up. Oh, they had to start on the second floor. How do we get up here, though? Do you hear something? Isn't that kind of confusing? The security. What? Isn't it normal for like security? <sighs> it was just the security guard. Mm-hmm. I mean that's still bad I to know. get caught by <gasps> M my phone. Why now? Why is that shit not on silence? people out right come on the thing just rang out of nowhere uh, what that's not funny you know we're gonna try to romance all the chicks in here thought i could interact with that for a second Use your phone flashlight. What does it say on this one? Uh, what? They want me to guess? Really? Let me see. Yeah, this is it. I'm sure they won't mind if we borrow this. <laughs> wow, we actually got the okay, gym key. All right. We're supposed to meet up with everyone in the main hallway. That was that was a guess. Did you find the key? Hell yeah. Sure did. You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. Huh? Wait, you actually did? I was just kidding. You want to take this outside? 
Guys, come on. All right, we'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour begins, I'll pinpoint Yamagishi's position. I'm going in. You come too. You can take the lead as usual. Sounds good. Uh, then I'll be the third. Wait a second, Yukatai. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. No. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. I don't want him. And with that, the teams are set. Sweet. Nah, yes. but like... What? You kind of use like our healer. The hell? You have a problem staying with Mitsuru? Oh yeah, that's right. You don't like her. I totally forgot about that beef. It's almost time. Let's go. Let us depart. I. That's right. I. Guess I'm alone after all. Yep. Fuka. Fuck you. Got the bike in here like this? Okay. We still haven't heard back from them. The transmission range is at max, too. Uh, I hope that girl Moriyama is okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour, but we couldn't risk bringing her here. And having one of us stay behind to watch her wasn't an option either. True. Yeah, I guess so. Well, we are all here for Yamagishi-san's sake. I'm here. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? I don't know. Got separated. Got separated. Akihiko. Come in, Akihiko. Uh, is he out of range? That's worrying. Didn't he go back to where he was in range then? Damn. So we're fighting solo. Potentially. I may have lost consciousness. I don't see Sonata or Junpei. Ah, what up, mystery you boy? Awake? This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. I told you, remember? I'm always with you. Yeah, because like I said, this still looks like a younger version of ourselves. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. Okay. See you. I hope we meet again. That's good advice. So that's why they wanted to just be three, so that way Fuka can join us and be our fourth member. Are you alright? It's too hot. I'm sorry. Find Akiko and the others. Communication's been lost. Alrighty. Let me make sure I got the right persona out. I want to start off with Oberon uh, because I have the passive on him that'll boost my attack. We don't even know what floor we're on. See how this fight goes. <laughs> Just us doing solo dolo. Ice. They made these guys really weak, huh? Or I'm just that strong. I don't know. 
I'm level 18, so... Oh yeah, they're giving us nothing. So I'll just go with, like, money next time. I heard someone though, who's on this floor. I don't know why they keep telling us to answer. Like we legit can't say anything to you. Squad, squad, let's go. Hey, here he is. Man, we were worried about you. Were you? Sorry, Fud, I'll wait. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Oh, yeah. Did you hear a voice on your way here? Yeah, kind of like... Who's there? Are you... human? Yes, yes, I am. That's it? That's the voice! Wait, didn't that come from behind us? Girl? Uh, They've been sitting here for how long? Are you just now coming out? Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes. Wow, you're alive! That's awesome! Never fear, the heroes are here! Good to see you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Girl, get off your knees. It ain't that type of type of area, okay? Y yes, I'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just so relieved. Looks like I made the right call then. Do you not like I'll fatigue see if I can though? Contact Mitsuru. What is this place? One second I was at school, and then uh, it's kind of a long story. We can explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? Mm, no good. All I hear is static. Oh, are you hurt anywhere? You've probably seen the monsters wandering around, right? So, there is something dangerous in here then. I've gotten by without them finding me so far. Wait, you've avoided them this entire time? How is that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but... I can sort of tell where they are. Are you gonna be like a navigator for us, like uh, Putaba you was in Persona Five? Or something? She has the same power as Mitsuru. Actually, she might be even stronger. Mitsuru's persona is always more combat-focused to begin with. Persona? Hang on to this. I'm gonna give her an evoker. Huh? Wait, is this? Is this a gun? Think of it as a lucky charm. It doesn't actually fire bullets. Um, okay. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, check out the moon. It's huge. I don't think I've ever seen it so bright. There's some research that indicates the shadows are affected by the phases of the moon. Although the same thing is true about humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. This explanation here actually aligns really well with the uh, Shin Megami Tensai games because they have moon cycles as you run through the game. And the closer you get to a full moon, I believe the stronger the shadows become. And when it's a new moon, they're weaker. So you have to like plan out when you want to fight certain things. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Hmm? It was. Uh, is something wrong? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? It was full. Today is June 8th. The monorail incident happened on May 9th. The assault in the dorm was on April 9th. They were all on a full moon. Mitsuru, are you there? Uh, Nico, shut those 
Arts. Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in! Be careful. Mitsuru? Mitsuru! What is that? It's much bigger than the others. And it's attacking someone. Uh-oh. Damn it! What the hell's going on? Totally lost here. Someone's in trouble, dude. Read the room. <laughs> My guess is right. They come every full moon. We've gotta hurry. Hey! Wait for me! Nah, bro, just start running. If you see the squad running, you gotta run too. What? Oh, not the bike. Oh, what the hell are y'all? We're gonna split up. What's going on? Nothing's working. Tanada san, gotta draw the shadows away. Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, then you've got it. Akihiko, be careful. Normal attacks don't work on them. Normal attacks. They're gonna go after her now. Moriyama-san? Hey, come back! Oh my gosh. Please get out of here! It's not safe. I, I had to tell you. I'm sorry. Hey, uh oh. Look out! I have to protect her. Y'all? Y'all? <laughs> Ooh, okay. I like the way this summoning's happening. Okay, that's dope, not gonna lie. Yamagishi-san? A persona? I can see. I... I can see these monsters' weaknesses. About damn time! Let's go! Make these fights easier for us. I'm ready! Just as I thought. I just like gleaked all over place. my keyboard, damn. We'll I'm a little too hyped. I'll, I'll try to chill out. <laughs>attacks on these guys to kind of buy us some time oh I forgot to turn these guys to uh, to direct command weak to thunder damn you got up quick Okay, that did a lot though on him. Please tell me when to activate it. Now, what the hell? Press the touchpad while on the analyze screen you use Fuka's skill full analysis. Doing so will deplete her SP. Carrying out a full analysis will reveal the enemy's weaknesses. Use it in battle or use it to battle more efficiently. Note that a full analysis can only be done after everyone, both allies and enemies, has ended their turn in the first round. Okay. So uh I don't really care about you. I care more so about you. <laughs> I didn't know I had this kind of power. 
that say piercing though? Was like. Let me go to tactics. All members, direct commands. We'll do full analysis on the next one. Uh, next round, pretty much. See, yeah, this one's only weak to piercing. Hmm. Damn, so it's pretty much like we, we gotta attack this one, right? Block, okay. Paradigm shift. The enemy's aura has shifted. Wait, what? They were changing their affinity. One. Oh, hell no. Nah. Sound like y'all cheating. Okay, you're weak to bash. Do oh, I got a bash skill on? Damn, nobody. All right. <laughs> That kind of sucks. Oh, not that. Oh, we can do full analysis on both. Okay, that's actually really clutch. I thought it was just like once per turn. I got someone with the ice. Gotta do this all out to get that extra damage in. Yeah. Fucking go. One step at a time. But it's good to know that I guess we can add uh, Fuka to the team. Zani? I feel like <laughs> my team's gonna go down. This should help. Yeah, I was like, bro, why aren't you dropping? And we miss. Fire break. Good to know. Well, I can heal with uh, Orphis, so that kind of works out. I've been pumping them up too with uh, the magic and evasion, so I should be able to like 
miss uh, or evade stuff. Let's go! Luckily, they only changed their resistance once. Better not miss, he's on the ground. <laughs> there we go. Or she, I guess it has titties, right? Woo! 19, 19, 17, Emperor Tarot, Empress Tarot. Oh, snap, we got some more Tarot cards. Shock boost, okay. Are there more of them? Riley. Don't worry. It's over. Luca. You That's what the mysterious or mysterious boy meant when he said okay? we're gonna need her. We're gonna need her to help figure out the enemy's weaknesses. Goodness. That's gonna be really good for boss fights. Oh, same thing that happened to us the first time we summoned our persona. She's just exhausted. Luca, Luca, I. Where did those two shadows come from? Yo, mama. Somewhere outside of Tartarus, just like with the dorm and the monorail. Outside, huh? Did not people turning uh, into them? What are we gonna do about Moriyama-san? She knows about the dark hour and the shadows. It doesn't matter. She's not like us, so she won't remember anything that happens in the dark hour. The good news is she didn't fall victim to the shadows despite hearing their call. So I don't think she'll get drawn in again. She's safe now. I mean, that's a wild theory. But doesn't that mean she'll forget Yamagishi-san saved her life? That doesn't seem right. Actually, I get the feeling that things will work out. I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. Better be. Looks like she's learned her lesson. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wasn't easy, but we managed to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. The mysterious boy appeared again. His warning doesn't seem to be just a dream. But I can't make any sense of it right now. I feel way too exhausted. I should get some rest as soon as I get back to the dorm. Yes, so. Yamagishi and Moriyama are recovering nicely. They'll be released from the hospital in the next few days. Precisely. We'll need to invite Yamagishi to the dorm and explain what happened. Considering that power purse, we could definitely use her help. And then uh, Mitsuru can join us now because she doesn't have to be like looking at the, the floor to try to tell us where stuff's at. So... That's pretty good, guys, but I'm going to end the episode off right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. Also, subscribe to my channel because it lets me know you enjoyed the content you see right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.